the Dodge Neon SRT4. Arguably one of the most hated on vehicles out there that is not a Honda, but you cannot deny that this car is probably some of the best bang for your buck. Um, they're one of the best daily drivers to own, especially if you're on a budget. You could normally find them uh, anywhere in the price range of four to six thousand dollars or so. Of course, you could pay like seven to nine if you want, you know, show quality, lower miles, you know, maybe a built, you know, built engine, built turbo. But if you really want to go out, you could spend upwards of, you know, ten to fourteen thousand dollars or so, or even more sometimes. But for the most part, you can find them a reliable one for uh, four to six thousand, usually on a little bit of the higher end of that. But they're great cars. They get absolutely fantastic gas mileage for the kind of car that they are. They're, it's weird because it's like the perfect mix between an economy car and a sports car. They get probably about 30 miles per gallon stock on the highway, um, 22-ish maybe, 24 maybe in the city. So, you know, combined like 26 miles per gallon or so. But for the amount of horsepower and how light they are, it's not too bad. Um, they're all five-speed manuals and they usually shift through gears fine and everything. Third gear is a known issue with these cars, so that is something to take a look at if you're considering getting one. But other than that, they don't really have a ton of other problems until you start building them and then making, you know, real power. The interior does feel a little bit on the cheap side, but you gotta remember when these were new, they were like $20,000 cars, so you can't expect the world with them. But overall, the interior looks pretty well um, and they're relatively roomy uh, the back seats are a little bit on the tiny side for uh, some bigger people but usually you can make it work and the front seats do tend to hug you and uh, me being a bigger person I do not find it uncomfortable by any means but if you are extremely large it might be something you might want to sit in uh, you know before you consider getting one just to see if that's gonna fit you overall for you know I'd say for under $6,000, this is by far the best daily driver that you could buy if you want something that you could build, something that's relatively fast, something that's relatively reliable, and something you could actually still transport people around in. Um, obviously, there's other options under this price range, and this car is not going to be for everyone, but it's definitely a good car to consider.